a little stained, yeah. yeah. Eve, hello. Hello. Kelly, hello. Grand evening. Grand evening. Black or red mulch? It was black. It was black mulch, so... I do not wear gloves, no. Fuck the gloves. Don't need gloves. No, 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 no. What are you working on now? Just gonna go finish up the garden tomorrow and then... <clears throat> got a few other small things to do. And then... Get prepared for the next one. You know? You know? BC, baby. You mowed the lawn today. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good old Moen. Lori, hello. Hello. Rachel, what's going on? What's going on? Don. Amanda with the hearts. Much love, ladies. By the way, that pizza that we constructed last night ended up being pretty fucking fantastic. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie. It was pretty good. I was a fan. It was definitely a get again. That garlic parm sauce, mint, mint. And I was just gonna go to bed. Oh. Did you go back and put plants in one from a couple weeks ago? No. She said she was gonna do them herself whenever she was gonna get around to it. She wasn't in really a rush to do that. Uh, Rachel, I did not. I did not finish the whole pizza, but I do have some left for tonight. Luckily. I had Blaze pizza for dinner. Blaze pizza. Is it good? Is it good? Jill, I agree. I'm I'm not gonna lie, I used to be like I used to never warm it up. You know, I used to like my leftover pizza cold, but now I fucking love it. You throw it in the oven at 425 for 10 minutes. Or no, not 10 minutes. I do about seven minutes and it's perfect. And like <clears throat> it's just way better reheated. At least with like dominoes and like, you know, like the chain pizzas like that, they're way better reheated than like you know. How they originally come Mic microwave no no you gotta just set the oven to 425 put it in there for seven minutes and you're good to go it doesn't take that long all I drove to Ohio today so I'm a trucker like Dev now <laughs> How long of a drive is that? Jasmine, hello. Nancy, what's going on? You can do it on the stove. Wait, what? On the stove top in a frying pan too. Hmm, I've never tried that. Air fryer pizza, I've not tried that either. Rana true. And yeah, that's, it's definitely quicker. You know, it's definitely quicker, but I don't know. Hello. Hello. No, the ovens are in Fahrenheit. Yeah, I don't really use the microwave for much either. Not a big microwave guy, unless it's for like popcorn, you know? Or like something like rice or something like smaller that you're reheating. But like anything like pizza or anything like that, you're throwing it right, right in the oven any day of the week. Why Fahrenheit? I don't know. To be honest, I've never questioned it. Never questioned it. But, yeah. Keep threatening to toss ours. Do it, Cam. Just toss her. Get rid of it. Hello, Bianca. Country girl, what's up? Steph with the rose, much love. 
much love. Never have time anymore, so it's cold. Or so cold it is. Well, it's still not bad, you know? Pizza's pizza, and it's, uh... It's good regardless, you know? Good evening. <laughs> Dipping sauce. Oh, it's a must. Or hot sauce, something. You can't just have it plain, you know? You cannot just have it plain, you gotta have something with it. All dressed ruffles. They're good. They are good. I can't really describe the taste, but they're good. Rhonda, thank you. Florida wins. Did they win the series? I haven't even followed the rest of the, uh, the playoffs, I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea what round it's in, who's still left. As soon as Toronto got knocked out, I just stopped watching, I'm not gonna lie. I'll watch the finals, but hello, Florida swept. Steph, what's going on? Florida's going to the cop. Willie, Willie. What's going on, brother? Florida, eh? Who would have thought? Who would have thought Florida goes all the way? Not me. Well, I mean, yeah, not me. I didn't even think they were going to get past Boston, but they did. And then they stomped the Leafs. The stars aren't. Alicia, you must... If, Alicia, if you're in here, you must be uh, heartbroken right now. Boston does not rock. No. I still, I still hate him. I still hate him. She's crying in the basement. Are we talking hockey? We might be. We might be. Are we rocking? You know it. Not the Bruins. Not the Bruins. Hello. Hello. No sympathy. No sympathy. Why won't? Okay. Tammy, hello. The Patriots. It's definitely a weird year for hockey big upsets. So who's left then? So Florida's going to the finals and who's who's the other series right now? The voice is very soothing and like hypnotic. Well thank you. Vegas. Stars and Knights. Fuck. They might sweep the stars, eh? 3 0 right now. <laughs> Woo! Fast as fuck. Gotta go with Vegas. <sighs> yep. <laughs> Boy. Cam, I'm sorry. I am sorry. A fun bet. For what? For what? Peter, hello. The only thing I know about it is what you boys tell. <laughs> what was wrong? What was the worst injury or surgery you ever had? Mm -hmm. 
My worst injury was probably either the one concussion I had or I had a slight tear in my hamstring. It's probably the hamstring one of that I'll prob that probably took the cake, I'm not gonna lie. That had me down and out for a while. Never had a surgery though, so knock on wood. Knock on wood. I've never had a surgery, but yeah. Lori, that sounds horrible. Horrible. Uh, Christine, I have not, <clears throat> I have not, no, that sounds painful, yeah, it wasn't fun, you know, it definitely wasn't fun, Cam, have a great night, much love to you, much love, broke my ankle getting walked to first base, that does not sound fun, do you like boating, I do enjoy boating, you know, I do enjoy boating, I don't get out often, but I like being on the water. Lori, hello. Hello. Howdy. Stacy, what's going on? Can you say Alex is cool? Ankle put back together. Do I captain the boat? Well, not if I'm on somebody else's boat, no. No. Why won't it stay? What the fuck? Parker is out cold right now. That's why he's quiet. He is sleeping, snoozing, having a good fucking sleep. You can kind of hear him snoring. Do I meditate? No. I do not meditate, no. He's a Scorpio hard no. <laughs> Such a Scorpio. It is late for Parker. Coming through with the motorcycle. Reed's ring. Much love. Much love. I appreciate that. Out of nowhere. With the motorcycle. I don't think I'd be able to meditate, to be honest with you, like, I don't know. I've never tried. Never tried it. What are you cooking for wine and dine? I do not know what we're, blah, blah, blah. I can't speak. I don't know what we're gonna cook yet for the wine and dine. Um, but, It'll be good, you know, it'll be good. It's always a good time with Johnny boy. So, do we know what time yet? Probably usual time, like maybe, I don't, I don't know, 6.30, 7, 7 probably. A cruise ship, I hope you enjoy your cruise. I hope you enjoy your cruise. Julie, hello. When's the wine and dine? Saturday. Saturday. Have a great night. 5 a.m. does come quickly. Indeed it does. Got it squeaking right now. 
get your cast off on Friday. You got. I bet you are looking forward to that. Kiki with our boy Cooper. Much love. Eighty. Finally. Holy fuck. Whatever, Anna. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Christine with the hand hearts. Much love, Christine. Much love. Aw, oh, Tina. That is unfortunate, but... You know there will be more. You know there will be more. Cocktails. Yeah, you know, I definitely dabble into some cocktails every now and then. I'll definitely think on that, maybe. Laura, you're going to miss it too, eh? Some comments in this live were filtered to protect the community's experience. What got filtered? Beth with our boy, Tom. Our boy, fucking Tom. Much love, Beth. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. If you go along, I might get to see some of it. I got you. Not me. Sure, Rana. Sure. It was probably Rana. Or you already know. Mary, hello. They're probably filtered because of me. Dennis, what did you do? It's either Dennis or Lori, for sure. One of the two. Kathy with the cotton, the seal. Man, tough crowd. Tough crowd. I'm surprised most of these comments get through. I was just being mean, you love me for it. Dennis is always causing issues. Causing a ruckus. Just causing a ruckus. Oh, I thought Parker was moving, but no. Nope. nope. Laurie, sure you are. Sure you are. It can definitely be a rowdy group for sure. Just a good time, no ruckus. Quite a ruckus. I had a patient escape today. What happened? Did you catch the patient? Did they get away? What kind of patient? Well, the police caught them. It sounds like you had quite the day then. Sounds like you had quite the day. <laughs> I'm curious, you know. I'm just a curious guy. That's all. Oh, Denise, good, good point. Good point. Wanted to go home. Can't blame her for that. You know what? Can't blame her for that. I'd probably, I'd probably try to get home too. Props to her. You know what? It's the effort that counts. She tried. I would have, I would have done the same. <laughs> Tina, damn. <laughs> damn. Damn. That's me every day as soon as I get to work. Oh, 
Only two more days until summer break. Beth, you must be pumped for that. You must be stoked. Good old summer break. I don't know how long my sister's got left. It's got to be, I think they end in June. Some, sometime in June. Very demanding today. Is your mom a baker because you're a cutie pie? Well, thank you. <laughs> and the funny part is, <laughs> my mom actually did just start baking. Homemade bread, actually. And I have to say, it's fucking fantastic. I, I tell her every day, you can fucking sell this shit. Like, this is phenomenal. So I guess she actually is a baker. I'm so tired. I can start, I'm feeling like the loopiness. is starting to uh, come on right now. Any news on your clubs? No, I'm going to send in the list tomorrow and hopefully get them replaced ASAP. I just have had no time in the last two days. So I'm gonna do it then. <clears throat> and then, um, yeah, get some clubs, which will be nice. You know, I'm looking forward to that. I still can't believe that happened, son of a bitch. Absolutely incredible. My mom just asked why I'm not talking back to you because she thought it was FaceTime. <laughs> I hope so, DJ. I mean, like, I'm pretty sure most of them are going to be exact replicas. I think the only difference might be my wedges and my irons. So, like, my driver, my wood, and my putter will all be the same. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. What did I say? What did I do? What did I do now? Not how you doing? How you doing? Uh, Tina, no, not really. I mean, the only thing I guess would be to like kind of get a feel for them, but they should be kind of like pretty similar, you know? Nothing a quick trip at the range can't fix. Stacy work is going good. It is going good. Very busy. But that's a good thing. Yeah, but that's just like a quick, quick, you know, trip to the range and then you can pretty much get a feel for them within that time frame. But for the most part, like it's all a pretty similar feel. All of us go to the range. A little driving range live. A little live at the driving range. It's been a while since we've done that. It's been a minute. Do they go by weight? Um. Yeah, I'm sure they're all weighted pretty similar. Like you can change the weight um, in the head of your driver. Um, and maybe some putters, but other than that, yeah, I think they're all pretty standard. 
almost a year ago, really. Time flies. The stiffness of the shaft. I do use a stiff shaft, actually. It is not a regular shaft. The regular shaft is a little bit too whippy, all right? Gotta go with the stiff. Gotta go with the stiff shaft. There you go. I gave you that one on a fucking golden platter. There you go. A gift. It was my gift to you. Johnny Boy is in here. Where's Johnny Boy? Oh, he is hard and stiff. Johnny. What's going on, Johnny? How you doing? You're so kind. Thank you. Thoughtful. I appreciate that, Amanda. Thank you. Y'all will get to see Johnny Boy on Friday, Saturday. Fuck, I don't know why I keep saying Friday. I meant Saturday. KB, what's going on? Good evening, Gina. Good evening. Vicky. Vicky. Yes. Thank you. For what? But well, you're welcome. I got you. Annette with the rose. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Daphne, I'm, I'm doing good. How are you doing? How are you doing? Next weekend, Johnny, if that, if that works better for you, we can do that. Absolutely. Kara, 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 Susie, much love. Thank you for the roses. Hello, Kara. Maria with the corgi. Fart in those sweethearts. Much love, Maria. Much love. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. <laughs> D 
Tanner. Tanner Voss. <laughs> Brandy, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, fuck. That was good. Somebody's munching away behind me. Munching. All I can think about right now is the fucking pizza. Surprise, surprise. I eat, like, I have a bad habit for eating absolutely nothing all day. All fucking day. And then I just crush food <clears throat> at night. It's probably not a healthy thing. It's definitely not healthy. But you know what? I don't care. I don't care. Oh, the pizza was very good last night. Muy bien. Muy bien. I'm on my third bowl, my third bowl of cereal, so I really can't judge. Cereal at night slaps way better, way better. I'm not like a huge. Well, I don't, I don't eat breakfast. Also, another unhealthy thing. But I will eat cereal at night. I will definitely dabble in the cereal at night for sure. Dennis, that's a great question. Milk or cereal first? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Good choice. Rice Krispies. Also a good choice, but you have to add more sugar to them. And then they're bomb. I won't eat them any other way, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a snob like that. Raisin Brant. Laurie, what the fuck? Come on. Raisin Brant. I couldn't have come up with anything better than Raisin Brant. I don't know what to say. Medicinal. But you definitely don't eat it because, like, you enjoy the taste. Like... I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. Like, I... I don't know. It's definitely good for you. Definitely good for you. But... I'm not gonna lie. Captain Crunch. Elite. Um... Gabby, I think you're thinking of corn pops. Yep, corn pops. <laughs> if I wanted raisin bran, I'd not in my Amazon box. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Um, Cocoa Puffs, elite. Cocoa Puffs are fucking elite because then at the end you get just a big old bowl of chocolate milk too. So you're really getting fucking two in one there. So I, it, it's really hard to top Cocoa Puffs at the end of the day. They will always probably be a favorite for me, but. Yeah. Now that's just my opinion. K 
kitty litter. What's kitty litter? What are you calling kitty litter? Same with Cocoa Krispies. They don't rip up your mouth. What do you mean rip up your mouth? What cereal rips up your mouth? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Shredded wheat. Like mini wheats? Are you talking mini wheats right now? So good. <laughs> What's that ruckus? What's going on up there? Captain Crunch is bomb. I'm a big fan of Captain Crunch. Captain Cr Captain Crunch, Cocoa Puffs. <sighs> I don't know. I'm too focused right now, organizing my desktop. I don't know why. Parker is making some noises right now in his sleep. He's gotta relax. He's gotta chill. Have we never talked cereal before, or have we? I don't know, actually. That's a good question. I don't think we've ever discussed cereal. At least not, like, this much, you know? He's clicking through grinder. <laughs> no. Not quite. Safe space. I'm done now. I am on Tinder, yes. But do I use it? Not often. No. Honey Nut Cheerios. They are good. Those are very good as well. Fact. I definitely hesitate before swiping left. Well, you hesitated, so. Apple Jacks. I have no idea. I don't think I've ever heard of Apple Jacks, to be honest. Never heard of that. You good, dude? What are you doing? <clears throat> Hold on, let me Google it. Maybe if I saw a picture of the box, but I don't think so. I don't think I know what that is. Yeah, I've never fought. I've no fucking clue. Applejack's preschool. Apparently there's a school called the Apple Jacks in Toronto. But I've never heard of that cereal. Tarana. Aren't you William? Aren't you William's friend? Okay, that's better. Indeed I am. I am Brian. That is my name. Uh, my name is Brian. I'm five foot four and yeah, I got nothing else. That's it. That's it. That's all. Short King. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. 
I forgot. I have a kid too. Forget his name. <laughs> oh, what was it? Zip. That's what it was. Zip. Oh, fuck. I knew it was something unique. Zip McClary. Yeah. yeah. And a brother named Jake. Hello from Texas. What's going on? <laughs> Five four and you named your kid Zip. That got the swipe. That deserved or earned the swipe. Look at that. How's Zip doing today? I actually haven't heard from him in a while, you know, I don't know how he's doing. It's been like a year, so, you know, I'm sure a lot's changed, but. Yeah. Second kid could be Zap, Zip and Zap. Yeah, no, I haven't had any like random, random numbers text me lately. So, you know, we're, uh, we've been good. We've been good. Uh, Brandon, no, I am, uh, I'm not. Zip is what you should have done tonight. <laughs> Brandon, you're, you're full of good ones, eh, tonight? You're batting a hundred. Batting a hundred. The Twizzlers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was Gabby's idea. It was Gabby's idea, eh? Crushed it with huge. <sighs> Brandy, why not? Why not? Sure you can. Sure you can. Remember when you broke the door handle in the old house? Yeah, that thing just kind of crumbled. I don't know how the fuck that happened. I don't know how the fuck that happened, but it did. Wendy, what the fucking Phoenix? Come on. The fucking Phoenix from Wendy out of nowhere. Let's go. Much love, Wendy. Much love. Let's go. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Coming in with a heater. Much love. Lisa, hello. Hello. A legend. A legend. Wendy with the fucking Phoenix. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. I just remembered that I have mm -hmm. the fast charger. Come on now. I haven't even used it yet. I'm not gonna lie. Just cracked it open. Holy fuck! Look at this. Holy fuck! There's three. Damn. Three, look at that. 
Look at that. <laughs> I swear like a trucker. Did you hear that? I'm fucking hungry. I am hungry. Are they all the same way? Holy fuck. Six foot cord. Nice. Nice. I'll probably still have a little battery all the time, but it's okay. Swear like a sailor. Yup. Put the other two back in the box. Cereal and Tinder. Yeah. Get one that reaches into every single room, like 500 feet. No, like a Bluetooth charger. You need like a Bluetooth charger. You just set one up in a room and it can just charge your entire house. Just flick a switch, boop, turn it on and it just starts charging. That would be something. That would be something. Is that a real thing? I don't think so. Create it. I'm not that smart. I'm not that smart, all right? I have like three brain cells, maybe. I can come up with the idea, you know? I can come up with the idea, but the execution, I cannot engineer that, all right? That is not my field of expertise. Man, just Google. Though I actually Googled to see if there was a Bluetooth iPhone charger. But there's not, just the stand-up ones. So yeah, I guess I did Google that. Yeah. No. Yep, I did. Who is your computer friend? My computer friend? Oh, Chris. Chris Palumbo. He's been working away on his music app and it's coming along nicely actually. It's pretty fucking sick. Chris P. My mom calls all the people I know on TikTok my computer friends. <laughs> Chris P is a busy guy. P. Yeah, I've not seen him and I don't remember the last time actually. I think St. Patrick's Day. I think St. Patrick's Day. I want to go back to BC. I want to go back to Vancouver and Whistler. I want to actually go skiing at Whistler though, you know? I don't want to like... Just go back and party. I want to ski. I want to ski. I just miss Vancouver. Yeah, Shreds lives out there now. 
That is true. She has moved to Vancouver. I do not blame her. Once you go, it's hard coming back. It's very hard coming back. I am Canadian. Indeed I am. Canadian. Whistler is a crazy time. Crazy. It's like Wiss Vegas is what we call it. Wiss Vegas. Always a good time. Always. Hello. Hello. Just don't fall down the hill. I did not fall down the hill last time. Although I did, I did have a good cartwheel fall the one time though, I did. That explains so much. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. We have receipts. Oh wait, oh wait, are you talking about skiing? Or like trying to get back to my room? Cause I definitely did fall in a ditch trying to get back to my room. I did. Yeah, guilty. Guilty. A few times, actually. I got up and tried to keep going and then fell back down. I think three times. And then after that, I just gave up and laid there for a bit. And uh, regathered my thoughts and took a new approach at it. It was interesting. Very, yeah, yeah. It was a rough one. <clears throat> To Vegas with people from TikTok. My folks thought I was going to end up on an unsolved mysteries. Oh man, yeah, no, we I did a trip out in Arizona with my buddies from TikTok, and at first they thought the same as well. They're like, "Oh, like you guys are all getting a house together for like a week." Like, I'm like, "Oh yeah, good guys, you know, good guys." Ended up being a fucking one of the best weeks of my life, so I don't fucking regret it at all. It was fucking great. But yeah, you went to Vegas. I don't blame you. Can't remember half of it. You lived it or did it the right way. Nashville was fucking nuts. That was a blurry trip. My body got beat the fuck up in Nashville. That was a rough one. But a great time. A great time. Tyler will be in Canada in September. I think he's going to BC, I believe. That's where his uh, roommate was from and moved back to. Nashville, I, I, I couldn't imagine living in Nashville. I couldn't imagine living in Nashville. Hello, hello. I don't remember most of that trip. Honestly, neither do I. I uh, I was pretty, pretty drunk for an entire week. That was uh, punishing. Punishing. I ate one full meal the entire week because I was so hungover every single day. One full meal all week. Other than that, it was just chasing it down with a liquid diet. And then once you caught a good buzz going on, you know, maybe you could get food down. But even then, like, I don't think I ate that much. Yeah, Brandy, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine that would be a time. Lenly, hello. Who are the guys in the hot tub in Whistler? Oh, J 
Jack and Jack. No. Well, there was Jack and Jack. And then there was Sam. Sam and Jack were the two OGs. Sam and Jack. And then there was their other buddy, Jack. Fucking great guys. Great guys. The one from... I think one was from Australia, I believe. Or New Zealand. He was either in New Zealand or Australia. Or maybe they were all from the UK. I don't know. But yeah, I know Jack's Jack's leaving Canada. He's gone. So long, Jack. They were they they were great guys. Great guys. Oh, not New Zealand. Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Makes sense. Were you guys all there? Was, or was this live? No. Like, I was there and it was over live. Yeah. We were, we were on live and like, so me, me and my buddy, we were, obviously we were drinking. So we were, we were boozing and we saw the hot tub and we could see the hot tub from our room. And we noticed, we were like, okay, you know, like we're going to bring the live down to the hot tub with us. Cause fuck it. Let's keep the party going. So we go down or from, from our window, we can see, oh fuck. Like, you know, there's two guys in the hot tub already our age. This is either going to go like be very fucking weird. And we're just like, you know, like, I don't know, deal with the situation then and either probably just end the live and chill or what. But we went down there and they fucking loved it. They ate it right up. They hopped right on the camera. Just ended up just like, it, they loved it. They loved it. They had a great time. They ended up coming back up to our room after to keep drinking. And then the live was still going. They just ate it right up. But they they were funny. They were funny as fuck. Yeah. No, but like sometimes, you know, if you put like a live camera, like in somebody's in front of somebody, like, you know, like you don't know how they're going to react. Like if they're going to like, you know, kind of freeze up or be shy or whatnot, but they were not shy at all. They just were fucking going, just going. And it was awesome. We met some cool people throughout our travels. We definitely met some cool people. Good times. Good times. Cooner. Good old Cooner. We've been talking about a road trip. I think we're going to do a road trip in June. Destination right now, unknown, but we are definitely going to take my truck somewhere. And whether it's just we hop in and see where we end up, or if we have like an actual planned destination, I don't know yet, but we are going to do something. What's sushi? What shoe size am I? Um, I'm actually a four in a uh, woman's. Just got little feet. Saves me money though, you know? Well, actually no. No. Never mind. Well, yeah, because that would be a kid size. For sure that I'm definitely saving money. Hobbit feet. Yeah, it's a little awkward. My balance is a little fucking thrown off, but you know what? At the end of the day, if you if you look past that, there's really no difference. <laughs> Do you get the light up Crocs? Unfortunately, no, I'm not, I'm not that cool. All right. I'm not that cool. I can't, 
I don't think I could pull off the, the light up Crocs, but yeah, I'll, I'll save that for somebody else. You know, I'll just stick with my basic original boring Crocs. I need to get off soon. I need food. I am hungry. Very hungry. He's a 10, but wears a size 2 shoe. Imagine how fucking weird that would be. Oh, I need, I'm like an 11. I know some, like a guy I worked with though, big fucking dude. Big fucking dude. Like just one of those guys who's just wide, you know, just wide, big boned. He's got size like 20 feet. It looks like he's walking around in goddamn clown shoes all the time. It's fucked. I've never seen anything like it. And his boots, like work boots anyways, were, I think it was 800 to to $1,000 a pair. And he would go through a pair every couple months. So I'm like, man, you are dropping money on shoes and work boots and everything like that's fucked you have to get those custom made you can't just go to a store and buy size 20 shoes like you can't just do that you know what i mean it's fucked yeah so this guy too we'll go into a little story here this guy like i said big individual he was a bouncer for a long time. Well, not, not a bouncer, actually. He was like, he worked in the strip clubs, all right? He worked in the strip clubs. He ended up getting like some manager promotion for the girls, this or that. Like he was in that kind of like life, you know, he, he was in that kind of life. So, you know, he definitely got into some situations, but like at one point when he first started off, like he was security. Yeah, he was security to start. And he actually was he legally was not allowed to punch anybody because if he did he actually could get charged with whatever it was they were going to charge him with because of the incidences where he had in the past where he hit people so hard that it actually almost killed them just off of a punch like it's just like a big fucking man like think of a 300 pan pound man that can fucking swing fast and hard like you're done you're done you're dead it's like attempted murder pretty much anyways i don't remember where i was really gonna go with this story yeah completely lost my train of thought it's gone it's gone just like that He had like fucking bear paws as hands. Bear paws. These things were fucking mitts. Never seen anything like it. Big boy. Big boy. Great guy though. Great guy. Like friendly, friendly giant until you get on his bad side. And then that's the last place you want to be. Because like he's the kind of guy where it's like he will make the body disappear. I imagine his hands aren't the only deadly weapon. Yeah, he's, he had some stories for sure. He's He had some stories. And you know what? Being in the landscaping field, I'll leave that up to you on to, in, in your creative mind as to what those stories could have gotten to. But it, he had some stories, all right? He had some stories. Did you ever see him lose his temper? I did not. I've seen him come very close, but... He's more so at the, he was more so at the point where he just said, fuck it and didn't really care. And like, you know, he wasn't really gonna work himself up over anything dumb or anything like that. So he was pretty chill and yeah. 
me and him me and him were like this though me and him were boys so i know i always knew like if i'm working with him that day and we're on the job site if if we come across any sketchy individual or anything like that like i know he's got my back and i'm fucking good because this guy can fucking take anybody so i was like all right if we get into some shit because sometimes you work in some dodgy neighborhoods some really fucking dodgy neighborhoods so Yeah, he was like my he was like my dad at work. He was like my dad at work. My papa. Did he sneak you into the clubs? No. I was already legal by that point. And he he stopped working in that industry like a long time ago. Like 15, 20 years ago. I need some fucking food. <clears throat> like this 5-4 king needs to be snuck into a club. Yeah, I don't need to sneak. I can just walk right in and they don't even see me because I'm so fucking small. Just walk right on in. Wendy, I I think so, but Johnny said he might he might be better next weekend. I don't I don't know yet. I don't know. Right under the rope. Right under the rope. Did you hear that? That was my ankle again. Sweet fuck. Sweet fuck. Fresh bread. Did she actually? How do you know that? No, she didn't. No, she didn't. <sighs> I wish. I wish. Just a little guy. I'm just a little guy, you know? Petite. Petite. Je suis petite. Oh, there it goes again. Good luck, Arlene. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, I just want my golf clubs back. I'm, I'm just going to do that tomorrow. Brandy, I know it's not about the size of the ship. It's about the motion of the ocean. We have discussed this before. And you're right. You're right. Augie, what is your question? Even a grain of rice can do damage at 600 miles per hour. <laughs> Never heard that saying before. It's a good one. I'm going to use that. Quality of jam. What did you say about the Crocs? It's the Crocs. They're breaking. I haven't even worn the Crocs, all right, the last couple days. My ankles are just fucked. <laughs> just fucked.
<laughs> Wait. I caught a student taking off his croc and smelling it in class today. That's a weird, uh, that, that's, a, that's a little odd. That's a, <laughs> that's a little odd. He's not one of the star students, fair. Not the sharpest tool in the toolbox, PO box. Christine, I actually have time. I'll actually have time tomorrow. I have some time off during the day where I can actually get that done tomorrow. I haven't had time. I haven't been able to make it. We've been working too late. They close at five and we've been working till like five, five thirty, six o'clock. I caught a boy smelling a girl's armpit today. Kinky. Well, it's not really kinky. It's just fucking weird. I'm not gonna lie. It's just weird. Gabby, I mean, if you want to, feel free if you want to. Rana, do you know anything about this? <laughs> he is our principal's son. Well, it sounds like your principal has got an absolute beauty on his hands. Just an absolute... An absolute beauty. <clears throat> a pen pal? I've actually never had a pen pal. I've never had a pen pal before. Never done that. Oh. <sighs> He said it smelled good. Just a beauty. Just a beauty. You know what? Yeah, I don't even know. I have nothing to say. I got nothing to say. Jill with the gem gun. Much love, Jill. Much love. All right, ladies, we're going to call it here, though. We're going to call it here. I can't, like, I'm starting to lose my speech. I'm fucking tired. I'm hungry. I need food. T Voss, I saw you just peep poke your head in here though. My boy. Every time I roll my ankle, it does that fucking crack. If I pen pal like a text, you're gonna get a postcard that says K. Oh that's brutal. Oh that's brutal. That's bad. All right, it's been great. We will be back tomorrow night. So I'll see you then. Have a great sleep, a great Thursday tomorrow. And as always, good night and love you. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Paca.